So on the last chameleon video, someone did request bat plus chameleon. So we'd be using the toilet paper from the puppy to allow the chameleon to quote unquote copy the bat. Um, and you may have noticed that there is no game audio in the background here. That's because RevGT had just put out his uh, full tier list for the game. And uh, no one does those anymore. They take a huge amount of effort. His video is over an hour long. And uh, so in order to get through it, I was listening to it in the background while I was recording. If I was smart enough, I would have uh, separated the, the audio channels or something to prevent uh, me losing the game audio. But uh, yeah, I didn't do that. I was lazy. I will link uh, Rev's tier list in the description. But uh, even though I have removed the game audio which had Rev's commentary over it, he will be popping up now and again in the video to offer some insights onto some of the pets that I'm using. I feel like it's only fair, you know, he was involved in the recording of this video whether he knew it at the time or not. So uh, let's get his opinion on Bat now. Bat is good. Interesting take there, Rev. Uh, so we get the four bats, and actually here we're kind of lucky that we missed the ox, which is the only pet that could have actually healed the weakness. Uh, maybe we would have won there anyway, I'm not sure. So the pack in general was kind of a mixture of summon pets. Um, I took out all the snipe stuff that was relating to uh, crocodile and dolphin runs that I did before. Uh, we don't get chameleon, but we do get deer, which is definitely one of the pets that I had uh, in consideration for um, keeping all the way from turn five. It's going to do a lot of damage if we're weakening the entire opposing team. Uh, the deer does get sniped, but um, it works out perfectly. And we also have flying squirrel here, which is uh, vitally important. Flying squirrel, like, okay, how do you rate this? Like flying squirrel, you can only judge it based on if you're on a toy line, because without a toy line, it's F tier, but with a toy line, it's very helpful. So I think it's C. Interesting take there from Rev. Flying Squirrel is good when you're playing toys. Hmm. Uh, I'll have to keep that one in mind for the future. And uh, let's see. I think we should be fine. Yeah, the bat stats got up to such a level that we should be um, getting through most of these early game battles quite easily. Uh, and we don't even need the deer there. Uh, we get another capybara. So that's going to help boost up. Actually, it's no different really, is it? Two separate capybaras is the same as one level two, but we do get the lobster. Lobster is really good. Is there anything else you want to say about it? Lobster's really, really good. Just hang on a second while I write this down. Lobster is really, really good. Okay, we can proceed. So we've got our really, really good lobster. We get another deer and uh, we really need to find the chameleon. And I think, unfortunately, here, Capybara has to go. We get Blobfish and Crow. So I'm going to take the level 3 Bat. And then we'll take Crow for next turn. We don't have any toys yet, so we can't use uh, Mosasaurus. Um, I guess I'm not uh, following Rev's advice. I'm using Flying Squir Squirrel with uh, no toy at the moment. Not very common to see level 3 Sea Turtle on turn 8 but uh, not surprising we end up beating that team. In fact, we're actually still on five hearts, which is uh, kind of unusual when I'm in customs, although I guess it is a summoning pack roughly. So we'll buy sell blue ringed octopus. And yeah, we'll just take the waffle as well and probably just eagle for the turn would make a lot of sense. Yep, and it comes. And uh, yeah, we are kind of running out of time here to actually see the chameleon in action. And one of the weird downsides with this build is the fact that uh, you don't really need a high level chameleon at all. So I've already got the level three bat, which means three weakness. If I buy sell puppy, that's going to be one weakness as well. And then all we need is a single level one chameleon. So we get the puppy here and I can buy sell for the toilet paper, sell it, bring another deer in. And now we need chameleon and then we will cover the entire team with weakness. It's kind of funny that we've got to the point where there are multiple ways to cover an entire opposing team with weakness and you don't even need microbe. Um, this team is kind of scary. They've got Parrot, Spino plus Stego as well on turn 10. Uh, what does Rev think about that? Whoa! <laughs> I 
Great commentary, right? Absolutely riveting, Rev. Now, uh, I think here I'm actually going to give up on the lobster, even though I saved it to try and give the chameleon a buff. All that we need from the chameleon is to be there to provide one extra weakness, so we're going to take it. Chameleon got nerfed recently. It used to be crazy strong. Now you just kind of don't take it. Well, unfortunately, we had to take it for this one because it was specifically requested to be bat plus chameleon. But um, yeah, I can kind of understand where Rev is coming from. Chameleon is definitely not very good at all. Um, but I, I don't think that's necessarily an issue. It's much more of an issue when a pet is completely broken beyond belief and um, creates unbeatable teams. So actually here with the 1-3 Chameleon, we still end up beating that team because they had a 1-1 one, one Dragonfly at the back. Dragonfly is another one where I'm not sure why they nerfed it down to 1-1, one, one, but uh, I guess a lot of people think it's super strong. So we're taking another uh, summon pet just for the turn, and we're going for the Orca. Um, I can't remember where Orca placed on Rev's tier list. <laughs> when there are 250 pets, it's kind of difficult to keep track. Weird here that we get matched up with a Walrus team. Walrus isn't really all that common, but uh, they're going to get the double peanut as a result. And uh, we get a terrible spawn from the Orca. I don't think it really mattered there. Uh, so probably should have sold Orca there for the um, the crow, but luckily I get chocolate and the uh, deer for the level up. And I'm going to pill Mammoth here, and then we'll just bring in... Um, we don't need Puppy anymore, so probably just uh, Seahorse. There's nothing to use the chocolate on because the chameleon levels don't matter at all. And unfortunately, I feel like every video in custom packs I make these days is going to have at least one opponent that is Muskox, Praying Mantis, Shark. Um, it's just an epidemic, but I guess that's just what happens when you nerf Jellyfish, Clownfish. Something else has to become, you know, it has to fill the void and become the new most popular thing. So I get the Snapping Turtle here. I definitely wanted to have the Skewer because we're going to cover the entire opposing team with weakness. So we should be guaranteed to hit three pets that are weakened. And uh, we do find another one if we end up drawing. And the next opponent is another bat team. Any thoughts, Rev? Bat is good. Yeah, excellent point there. And for more excellent points, please check the description below where I will have a link to Rev's tier list. Definitely took a lot of effort for him to put that together. So uh, go and show him some support. Whoa! <laughs> Great commentary, right?